Yep, I still love Lego, and I especially love the double-decker catch from the Lego movie set. I mean, it, it was such a stupid thing, but it's a nice little set, and it comes with quite a lot of minifigs as well, so let's take a look. I really, really enjoyed the Lego movie when it came out, and uh, yeah, I do collect Lego, so I was over the moon when I thought, I'm going to be able to get a Lego double-decker couch! But then, lo and behold, it didn't actually come out with the other sets when they uh, originally came out, which was a huge shame. It did come with one of the sets, like, maybe it was with the ship or something like that, which was, like, 100-odd quid. It was ridiculous. It's like, I don't want to pay that. I just want the double-decker couch. That's all I want, and thankfully now we have it. And it's, uh, it's really nice. It looks pretty much exactly like it does in the movie, except the seats don't lift up to reveal fridges. But I think, Kurt, we can forgive him for that one, can't we? Yeah, the, uh, it folds down. Don't know if it did that in the movie, but it does it anyway. It's quite uh, plain on the back, but we don't care about that. We want it for the front, don't we? And yes, it does come with five minifigs, which uh, is, is brilliant, really. We have Benny with his sausage, and he's enjoying his sausage there. Don't read anything into that one. There's uh, Lord Business with his cup, and he seems very angry at having said cup. And of course we have Emmett. He loves his giant waffle. And Unikitty, who looks quite sad. Maybe it's because she doesn't have anything in her hand, whereas everyone else does. That's a shame, anyway. And, of course, we have the ghost of Vitruvius, who strangely doesn't like to stand up on his own, um, but his staff here does keep him balanced, so that's fine. We can forgive them for that one. So, yeah, I really like this a lot. And the strange thing is, as well, where's Wildstyle? Why do we have Unikitty? Where's Wildstyle? I miss my... Wild style. Uh, yeah, anyway. But we do get Benny with his broken helmet, which is excellent. A nice little detail, because we all used to stand on our Lego helmets as kids and break them. So that's uh, handy to have it already broken for us to save us the effort. One thing that is interesting with this set is Unikitty comes with an alternate expression. More of a happier expression. She's, uh, she's obviously gotten over the death of Cloud Cuckoo Land. So, uh, let me just show you that alternate face now. <laughs> yes, at least in the set I got, Unikitty's uh, alternate face is hideous and deformed, which is uh, very sad for her. She has kind of an eye wrapped around there, and also an eye on the top, which you can just see poking out the top there. And uh, yes, she's in quite a uh, horrific amount of pain, which is why I have to have this secondary sad face, because I'd rather see her quite sad and upset than, uh, than monstrously deformed. So uh, there we have it. Let's pop you back up there so you can enjoy what uh, poor quality of life you have. There she goes, she's, uh, she's given up. So that, ladies and gents, is the double-decker couch set, which is very simple, and it didn't take very long to put together, but I bloody love it, because it's a hilarious, hilarious thing, and uh, the Lego movie was very, very funny. So there we have it, the double-decker couch, because I sure as hell wasn't going to buy that bloody ship for 160 quid just to get it. Thankfully, they released in a year later. Ooh, oh, now she's suffering. Now she's suffering. Stop pointing and laughing, Vitruvius. It's not very nice of you. Mm -hmm.